is a radio I wasn't going to buy. I thought I'd, I'd miss out on this one. I've seen a few reviews. This is the Mini ATS radio. Um, I was very, very unimpressed with the construction uh, of the ones I saw reviewed. The, um, it was like um, a, um, a 3D printed plastic case. And uh, I thought it looked awful, to be quite frank. Um, this is allegedly an improved version. And I'll show you the AliExpress listing. And it said that the hardware was improved on this and that this uh, little radio was on the updated uh, firmware as well. Because I do know someone that bought one of these early on and said that the firmware was very, very difficult to use that it came with. And it was a lot better after it was flashed. Um, if you look at the construction of this one, it, again, it's a, it's a 3D printed uh, case. I'm not sure how well it will pick up on camera. Um, but it looks to me a bit better than the original ones. I could be wrong. If you've got an original and you think it's just as good, then fair enough. So I'm got an original to compare it to. But it doesn't look as bad as I thought anyway. Let's put it that way. This one is branded as um, AMN Volt. Alpha Mike November Volt, V-O-L-T. And uh, similarly on the rear, you can see it a little bit more clearly perhaps. AMN volt, four screws on the rear, a tiny little speaker in there, that's the speaker grill. Okay, on the one side there we've got a 3.5mm uh, uh, headphone uh, jack. And um, on the other side we've just got the, um, the tiny uh, on off switch. And uh, on the top panel we've got the antenna but we've also got uh, a USB-C. Um, to uh, to charge the radio. This came with a fair amount of charge on it. I've had a little play around with it, but I uh, haven't charged it up yet. Just before okay. we see the radio in action, uh, let me just show you how we control it, you know, how, uh, how the user interface works. Because at the end of the day, we've only got one control knob here. So let's see how that's going to work. So I'll turn the radio on with a little micro switch at the side. And... We should see the screen there and we're on version 1.01 .01 of this firmware. Now this is the updated um, apparently firmware. If you've got a different version of firmware obviously your experience here is going to differ. We've got the sound turned up here and we've obviously we're not receiving anything. The antenna is not extended. Let's turn the volume down. So we press the knob. We've got volume highlighted there. We press again. We're now in the volume control and we can just dial the volume down. Okay, to a comfortable level. And then we press again and we're back in um, VFO mode, if you want to call it that. If we want to switch bands, again, press the knob and we can go to um, band. Go up to band, press. And then we will step through the preset bands. Okay, you can see them there. Those are the preset bands that are on the radio programmed in. If you switch to um, an armature band, it automatically puts the radio in SSB mode for you. You come out and it's back to AM. Um, that's 49 meters uh, broadcast band. But if we switch up to 40 meters, you'll see it puts us back into SSB. So that's quite useful. Now, I know I've um, read on one of the Facebook groups, somebody was saying, well, this, this, I, I don't have a 17 meter band listed. And uh, let's just look back at the bands as we step through. So we've got a uh, shortwave uh, two there, 49 meters. We've got 4.8 megs, got 80 meters. Then it switches into um, medium wave two, they call that, but that's really short wave, isn't it? But there you go. Um, Medium wave two again um, is the. Let's just go back to band again. That's the European medium wave with nine kilohertz steps. 
medium wave one is um, 10 kilohertz steps for sort of North American uh, AM band. Then we've got the VHF band. You'll notice there's no long wave. <clears throat> and indeed, as someone correctly pointed out, there's no 17 meters ammeter band. There is no 12 meter ammeter band either. It's not a problem. Now you could, um, I'm sure, install um, a firmware update, a different version of the sketch, and you could put those bands in. But if you don't want to go to that kind of level, um, the radio as it is, all you have to do is go into a uh, band again. There's one called all there. Okay, and you can see now I'm on 17 meters. Doesn't matter um, which band you want. If you want long wave, for example, I'll show you how to get long wave. So we now need to go to our tuning steps. Press step. I think we probably need to step into AM mode. Um, let's go to mode. So let's go to AM so that we can get that step. I think maybe that is the issue. Yeah, there it is. So we need to switch to AM. So 50k, you've got 100k now. Okay, so we can step down in our 100k. So we can obviously flick through the bands a little bit quicker. But we've also got um, a one meg step there. Okay, so if we want a long wave, for example, so we're in the realms of the long wave band there. We've now got it under all. Okay, and we can, uh, that's medium wave, that's long wave come out of there and we can now to up and down the the band okay so that's i think that's the lower level there uh, 150 150 kilohertz is the bottom end um if we go back up to band okay that's where our all is go that way we're on 10 meters Go back to all it's remembered um, that we've set that as long wave so if there's a band missing that you really like and you don't want to start messing around with the firmware or updating or whatever that's an easy way around it um, the other functions you've just seen we've got the uh, tuning step functions so we can move the dial in those increments we can select those we've got um, a bandwidth function so whether you're in SSB or AM mode, okay, you can set the bandwidth. So in AM mode, you've got a maximum of uh, 6 kilohertz, which is going to give you a slightly better audio quality. You've got a minimum of 1K, uh, which is far, far too narrow for AM anyway. But realistically, um, 2.5, 3K, very narrow AM filter. So that's quite useful. Um, what else have we got? Let's have a look that we're going to use um, immediately when we operate the radio. We've got the mode. Okay, so those are the modes you've got. Okay, you've got USB, LSB, AM. See, it's skip. No, FM is listed there, but you can't engage FM. There's no FM on the HF bands. So if you think you're going to listen to FM CB or FM 10 meters, you're not, as, as this radio stands, you're not, okay? It does have a CB band. If we go to the band, it does have, as you'll see there, CB. That's AM. That's AM mode. Or um, you could switch it into um, sideband mode. But it's not a narrow band FM. So you haven't got a narrow band FM function with this, okay? Um, what else have we got? We've got the covered the steps. We've got the bandwidth. We can mute it. We've got an attenuator here. Okay, the default is AGC on, but then we can uh, dial in levels of attenuation if uh, we've got um, the radio overloading, maybe with the, the antenna that we've got on it. Uh, we can mute it, soft mute. We're not going to play around with that. Um, AVC. Now, I'm guessing that stands for um, Automatic Volume Control. We can set a maximum here. So the maximum is 90. Okay, looks like. I don't know how that affects the overall volume. Go to the Volume Control. Does it give us more volume, possibly? So I would suggest you go in and... Um, max that out because the 
speaker's very, very small on this radio, so the um, certainly the volume on speaker is quite limited. It's it's adequate on headphones. It might be better now I've altered that setting. I honestly didn't know that was there. Um, so that's useful. Um, we've got seek up and seek down calibration, so you can actually adjust the frequency display if you feel it's out. We've got a brightness control here. Now, if you're intending to use this radio outdoors, it's got the colour screen. You may need to crank up the brightness. Looks like you've got a maximum of 255. And we've got a minimum of 32. You see the 32 is okay indoors. It's fairly dimly lit here. Um, but if you're outdoors, you're probably going to need to uh, wind this up maybe to the maximum. Depends on how bright it is uh, when you're using it outside. And I think those are the, uh, the main controls. So that's how we control this radio. If we want to go into any of the menus, it's a click. And then another click to get out. So the, the default position is you're like in VFO mode, tuning up and down. Click the tuning knob. Select your function. Click again. Okay, switch to SSB there. Click out. And we can tune up and down. So that's a quick uh, basic tutorial on controlling the radio. Let's now have a short look at me tuning it on the bands. So so, um, we're on long wave with the mini ATS uh, connected up there well. But I can hear some breakthrough from short wave. Can you hear the uh, theme signal? That's not on 261 kilohertz, but let's try for Algeria. And you know that's coming in very well. It's not a good antenna, of course, on the well, but I've got the connector in there. Well, that sounds good. That sounds better than the ATS 25 uh, in long way. Let's see if we can get Poland. There's Poland. So we'll get BBC Radio 4 there, obviously. Okay, that's good. One seven one can't hear anything there. Let's try one five three. Yeah. So one five three is coming through. Okay. Right, let's try medium eyes. So I'm gonna step up to see if we can get any pirates. It's a little bit early maybe. But let's go to the top end of medium eyes. 1656, we've got uh, something coming in there. Oh, that's coming through rather well, isn't it? Uh, no real overload. So while we're on medium wave, let's see if we can get Manx Radio 1368. That's always a good one to listen out for. Oh, the 4094 Radio Blackbeard might be testing there, can't we? Okay. Here's monks. Not that clear, but they're there. Okay. So, um, well, we'll go down, um, right down to 1323. That's IRRS in Italy. It's readable. Hopefully the, uh, the mic on the camera phone is picking it up okay. And that's really good. It'll be better with headphones, I think. Got the volume up quite high, as you can see. I'm on a 70 or 60 in the volume. But the speaker is on the back of the radio, so it's slightly muffled. Right, I'm going to take it down to um, 846. That's quite a difficult one. Radio North. It may not, I mean, it may not be coming through anyway, so to be fair to the radio. There it is. So Radio North is coming through okay. Uh, there's BBC Radio Scotland there. Okay, that's not doing too bad at all. Let's go for Radio Caroline on 648. Should be coming through now. And this is American Ben Giant. 
There's Caroline. Doing very well, actually. We'll have a quick look at uh, 49 meters. So let's go up to band and let's go straight for the 49 meters. Okay. It's got the shortwave radio, I think, uh, relay and weekend music radio. See if there's any pilots around here. Something there. Someone there. Three pilots tonight. Forty meters, so it switches into SSB for us. Forty meters. I'd say the sideband calibration is slightly off. Maybe. Well, it's not doing bad. See if we can tune this a little bit better. So we've got to get to um, 100 steps. Yeah. So it's about 100 hertz off, I'd say, looking at that. Because I'm guessing these guys are, you know, probably on the, on an even frequency. They may not be, but most, most of the even frequencies, the SSB sounds slightly off. Yeah. I think there's a way of calibrating this. We can try that. We'll try that. Have a look at that in here. In the future. Very slight warble at times, but nothing, nothing too bad. So there it is, that's a 40 meter SSB. There's a little bit of a warble in there, isn't there? But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that quick turnaround on the Mini ATS.